Good morning. Oh, morning hair. We are at a park <laughs> on the side of uh, Guanajuato and we are gonna have a food tour today. I don't know if you can hear me over the fountain. It's so cute. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go on a food tour with one of the t uh, tour guides. We are, okay, I just remembered because I saw the sign. We're at Parque Embajador, Embajadoras, like Ambassadors Park. And uh, yeah, we're gonna explore, we're gonna eat some food. It's early, which is why my eyes are looking great. And um, yeah, we'll find out what the tour company is. I'll put it down below um, so that when you visit Guanajuato, you can enjoy all this food too. Let's go. for coffee at a place called Café Tal. Um, they roast their own beans and just before that we had some guisados this morning at a gordita with rellena which was like blood sausage with quite a lot of other things like liver and heart. I don't know. It was rich. It was very rich but it was okay. It was tasty. The gorditas are nice because they don't fry them like they do in Mexico City. They cook them on the flat top like they did in uh, Querétaro. So really nice. Yeah really enjoying it so far. Already full. We had a juice also, and uh, we're learning a lot about the city too. I'll talk more about Cervantes um, later on once I do a voiceover of that because it's a long story, but there's a lot of love for Cervantes and Don Quixote here, which is very fascinating because obviously there's no mention of Mexico or Guanajuato in the book. Um, so yeah, it's very fascinating, but I'll, I'll get to that, I promise. De 200 inundaciones. Esta fue la peor, bueno, una de las peores en 1905. Y esta es la marca de la altura que llegó el agua. Wow. This was one of the worst ones of the uh, there were more than 200 and this was a very very bad one. And they put these signs to show how high the water went. So there will be more and pay attention there are many more in town. This is one of the low ones. Wow. El río. Sí. Del río. Uh, del Rio and also the... So the brief story of why Cervantes and in particular Don Quixote are all over Guanajuato is because they used to have short plays in between um, theater shows and um, they would show the Don Quixote, they, the locals of this small mining town would act out different scenes in different parts of Don Quixote and they now have a festival, a Cer the Cervantino, every year. It brings people from all over the world to celebrate in Guanajuato. I will list more information below about it so that you can read about it. And if you have any comments or more information about it, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to learn more about it.
can ask me then if you have questions. So I took you here because this is one of the most important parts of Guanajuato. Uh, as we mentioned before, this is where the river used to be. Now it's called Calle Miguel Hidalgo, but everyone calls it La Subterránea, La Calle Subterránea, Subterranean Street. La calle we're about to go up the funicular, I don't know, to the Pipela, which is a really good view of the city. So, up we go. The food tour with Laura was awesome because it wasn't just a food tour, it was also like a tour of the city. We really got to explore a lot. We went up to the Pipila, which as you saw was when we went up the funicular and um, it was awesome. The view is amazing. It's definitely some of the best views. Why is this dog barking so much? Some of the best views in the city. Although where we're staying has some pretty awesome views too, as you can see. The city's very hilly, so there are lots of great views to have. Um, but we had some really good food. It was all paced out really well, I thought. So that by the end you were full, but you didn't feel stuffed. All the food was really good, obviously. And um, yeah, it was just a really fun experience. I highly recommend it. I'll put the name of her company down below. This is so that you can book um, when you come to Guanajuato. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of Guanajuato. There are several more to come. Uh, I, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!